Okay, this is going to be Adam Schiff. Adam Schiff. So I hope you like the video. And if you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. You know, before I kind of did a little research into him, I was really kind of liking Adam Schiff, Schiff a lot. But uh, and probably I still uh, have a lot of respect for him. But see what you think. Here's what I found out about Adam Schiff. Okay, I wicked him just like I always do, and there's not that much. So I don't know. Tell me what you think. But in 1960. Adam Bennett Schiff was born on June 22nd, so he's a cancer. And he was born in Framingham, Massachusetts, and raised in a Jewish family. Uh, 1970, they moved to Scottsdale, Arizona. And in 1972, the family moved again, but to Alamo, California. And in 1978, he graduated from Danville's Mont, Mont Vista High School and was class valedictorian and voted most likely to succeed. Succeed. 1982, Schiff received a Bachelor of Arts degree in political science from Stanford uh, University. And in 1985, he received a Juris Doctor from Harvard Law School. And then uh, after law school, Schiff spent a year as a law clerk for the U.S. District Court for the Central District of California. And then 1987 to 1993, he was an assistant U.S. attorney in the office of the U.S. attorney for the Central District. He prosecuted the case against Richard Miller, a former FBI agent who was convicted of spying for the Soviet Union. The first trial resulted in a hung jury. The second trial resulted in a conviction that was then overturned on appeal. And uh, Miller was finally convicted in a third trial. In 1996, Schiff was elected to represent the 21st District in the California State Senate. Uh, he was the Senate's youngest member at 36 years old. And Schiff uh, chaired the Senate's Judiciary Committee, the Select Committee on Juvenile Justice, and the State uh, Legislature's Joint Committee uh, on the Arts. As a state senator, Schiff uh, authored dozens of measures that were enacted into law. And Schiff and his wife have two children. Uh, Schiff children. Uh, Schiff has participated in multiple endurance challenges, including triathlons and marathons. And in 2001, he became a California U.S. representative of the Democratic Party. In 2010, he was the only U.S. representative to participate in the inaugural uh, Washington, D.C. triathlon. In 2013, he represents uh, California's 28th uh, congress congressional district. Now, in 2014, Schiff was the first member of Congress to participate in the AIDS slash life cycle. It was a seven day uh, charity uh, bike ride from San Francisco to Los Angeles to raise awareness and funding to help fight uh, HIV and AIDS. And then 2018, The New Yorker reported that Schiff has actually been writing screenplays on the side for years, including a murder mystery, a post Holocaust story, and a spy drama. And then in 2021, Schiff actually published a, a, a Midnight in Washington, uh, the, the title of its mission in Midnight in Washington, How We Almost Lost Our Democracy and Still Could. And that's a book recounting the effects of the Trump uh, presidency. So that's what I found out about uh, Adam uh, Schiff. So this is the Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini. This is published by U.S. Game Systems. And I really love these cards, and they've got an interesting story behind them, too. And there's a follow-up deck um, that I sometimes use uh, together with these. But uh, So they come in a, a typical, uh, just a little cardboard card box. It's fine. Um, the artist is David Palladini, who was born in Italy but raised in the United States in Highland Park, Illinois. So that's a little bit interesting once you get to know the cards. And uh, the instruction book that comes with them is just a run of the mill. Um, this card means this and that card means that kind of thing. Really nothing all very meaningful in here. And it's kind of printed really small. So there's all of that. The interesting thing about these cards is uh, what happened. David Palladini was just finishing up um, art school when I forget who it was. Someone approached him about doing uh, tarot cards. Um, and now David Palladini just recently died. This is 2000. 
and 21 in May, and he may have died three years ago or in that in that time span. So uh, 17, 2017 or something. And then so then these were done at the beginning of his career, which would have been put him in his uh, 20s or late 20s, I would imagine. So you can see that these are very nice cards, very soft spirit and very to the point. Uh, they're not hard to uh, interpret. <clears throat> and I lay these out like this so that you can get an idea of what a full deck looks like if you're not a person who buys a lot of cards or or sees a lot of tarot cards. I do because I just like to collect them. I think they're, they're little pieces of art. <clears throat> but uh, this fellow uh, did these right out of art school and then he could never have imagined they would come such an integral, become such an integral part of tarot. And then later in his life he went ahead and um, and did an updated uh, deck. But these are the Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini and uh, they're really great. Hello. Okay, so this will be the final part number four in this four-part series. Cadendo 33 has asked these questions, and um, so this is um, how will history 10 years and beyond view uh, California Congressman Adam Schiff's legacy? So 10 years on, how will Adam Schiff's legacy be viewed? Very interesting question. Adam Schiff's legacy 10 years on, how will that be viewed? Adam Schiff's legacy 10 years on, how will that be viewed? Adam Schiff's legacy, 10 years in the future, how will that be viewed? And, um, you know, he, it asked California Congressman Adam Schiff, but you know, I'm going to leave it a little bit open uh, and see what happens. So Adam Schiff's legacy, wow, that's interesting. Usually this, these cards spread very beautifully the first time. That has some significance, I feel, in the read. So six cards for the first part of this Celtic cross. Adam Schiff's legacy, 10 years on. What will, how will his legacy be viewed 10 years on? So these first six cards, we're going to pull out a signifier for Adam Schiff's legacy 10 years on. Okay, the star. That's a beautiful signifier for, the, for, for anybody to get in their drawing, so as a star. The challenge to that, however, ah, this is Hanged Man. So the Hanged Man is, this can be a good card or a bad card, but this really speaks to having a different perspective having to been forced to take some time to look at a thing from another perspective. This person is in, an, uh, in a lethal peril. They can uh, get themselves out of this situation, but they're, they've kind of been forced to take a beat, take a minute, and look at things in another way. So interesting challenge to the star. The base of this reading for Adam Schiff 10 years on, this Six of Pentacles speaks to really finding a balance to distribute that wealth. So that's a nice base for anyone to have in their reading. And the past of this reading for Adam Schiff 10 years on with his four pentacles, really the speech is sort of kind to of hold on to your value, hold on to your worth, being cautious, uh, knowing that you have this value, but uh, really being uh, thoughtful in, in how this might uh, be used. In the sky, this reading for Adam Schiff 10 years on, with this five of rods in the sky, you know, the five of rods is useless uh, arguing, unnecessary uh, conflict, um, juvenile disagreements, plans that don't quite meet up and mesh. So that's the sky in this reading for Adam Schiff 10 years on. And the likely outcome of the first part of this Celtic cross is with this five of pentacles being left out in the cold. Okay, and that just speaks for itself. So there we go. Interesting. So the last part of this Celtic cross for Adam Schiff 10 years on, the self of that question, how will Adam's legacy be viewed 10 years on, is this eight of rods. This is a lot of issues uh, coming down at the same time. A lot of issues uh, that will need to be dealt with. So that's the self of that question. The um, challenge to that or the environment really that it's in is with this nine of cups, Nine of Cups is described as the greedy merchant, the fellow who has achieved lots of emotional success and is proud to display all of his trophies. So that's the challenge to all of these issues coming at the same time. The hopes and the fears of this is going to be this page of swords. You know, the page is the very least uh, effective or, or, or powerful of the court cards. But the fact that he's bringing this huge sword into the court for consideration, this kind of is a congressman. The congressman brings the ideas out and the grander uh, uh, Congress has to decide what's going to be done with it. So 
the hopes and the fears uh, being um, that page of swords. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing for Adam Schiff's legacy, 10 years on, ah, the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords tells us of a warrior who has some truth and it just is at his side. He's uh, cautioned not to move too quickly, not to get up too soon, to be at, at his peril of these truths, these rules, this law, this justice. Um, and um, so a cautious a cautious tale, it looks like to me. So to recap, we're going to say his Adam Schiff's legacy, 10 years on, he comes up as being a star, okay? He's challenged by really looking at things from another perspective, all the things you would expect a good congressman to do. The base of this reading with the Six of Pentacles is weighing the pros and the cons, making sure everything is distributed equally and fairly. The past of this reading is holding on to that value uh, before you make a, an, a, an unpopular or an unwise decision. Uh, and all of this... Um, uh, conflict really speaks to me of Congress uh, fighting back and forth to find out where that balance is going to be. The likely outcome of all of this with this Five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold. That's an interesting card. And then the self of the question with this Eight of Rods is just all the issues that uh, had to have been dealt with. However, the environment that it's in is of a very successful merchant proud to display his emotional uh, trophies with the hopes of the fears with this Page of Swords showing that this is the best uh, that you could be was to bring these issues up to the court and then um, the likely outcome of the whole thing is having been seen as someone who was a cautious uh, soldier had truth and justice by his side and was uh, 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 knowledgeable about the perils that could affect him if he moved too quickly interesting read for Adam Schiff's uh, legacy uh, 10 years on I'm Mark my journey through tarot Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.